Hello everyone and welcome to Control Systems Analysis and Design. Uh, today we're going to be designing a game compensator basically. They're saying design a game, but the same is creating a game compensator. Uh, and we're looking for a GM, a game margin of uh, 10 decibels. So this is our transfer function. Uh, normally in a problem, if you had a test or something, you would be given the Bode plot. But in this problem, I actually have a graph them in MATLAB. And this is what we ended up. So uh, with the, uh, graphing the original transfer function, this part right here, uh, you are able to find out well, with a gain of 1, with k equal to 1. We are able to find a gain margin of 63.8 and uh, at a frequency of 9.45. So you want a gain margin of 10 from the problem solution. So this is actually a really easy problem because we originally have a gain margin, and we call gain margin original, equal to 63.8. At omega naught, uh, at a frequency equal to 9.45 radians per second. Okay, so if we're wanting a GM 10, then all you have to do is go 63.8 minus 10, which is equal to 53.8 dB. And this is basically the distance uh, that you have to move these graphs up in order to get that mar phase margin. So basically, take this, uh, the magnitude plot. Shift it up uh, 10 or 53.8 degrees so that you end up with 10 basically right there. Okay, so we have the shift that we need, but we need to convert that into an actual gain that we can use. So, in order to do that, you just uh, do the in uh, basically a unit conversion of 10 to the power of 53.8 over 20, which is from 20 uh, log 10 of a value of a unitless value, which would give you dB, and you just solve for that, and instead you get the, the gain. So 53.8, if you solve this out, you'll end up with uh, 489.78 equal to k, and that is the k you need in order to get uh, a, a gain margin of 10 dB. So very simple, all you have to do is figure out what your current gain margin is, which is found by where the, uh, the phase plot crosses uh, the negative 180 degree axis, figure out what the gain margin is, and then you turn it into a actual gain. Uh, subtract it, it, find out the difference in it to get the dB, and then subtract it and get, use the conversion to get the actual gain. Quick, easy problem.